Daniela, thank you so much for coming on the podcast. I am so happy to chat with you today. To kick off, would you just share a bit about yourself and what you currently do? Yes. Um, first of all, thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to um, to be chatting here with you today and see uh, how that evolves. So I uh, right now, what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, mostly I'm being, uh, I'm just enjoying life, um, really every minute of my life. And if there is a person who uh, needs um, or who is very drawn to me, then I work with them. And usually those are uh, leaders mm-hmm. who've been uh, mostly, yeah, mostly leaders who who have success and who've managed to get success, who have been on a spiritual path and but they feel like that's not the right way to do things and they really from within they search more they search the truth so what i do i help him to help them to shift into a permanent state of ease and joy and effortless living so they shift from the conditioned mind and the conditioned person of doing things and creating by doing to creating by being and Mm. It's fun. Oh, that is so interesting. And how how does that shift really happen? What is the process for that shift? I, I assume that it is different for everyone. Uh, the the theme or how it looks like it's a different for everyone in terms of um well because every every one of us has a different theme of a life. I would say mm. you know so uh, who we are our well who we are uh, uh, as a personality as a person our name our religion our background our experience and what we do and also what kind of challenges we have uh, in our lives but the the process I would say I would say uh, is the same and it's really dropping the mind so it's really about dropping the mind that holds the conditioning and the belief system of who we are uh, how we know this world to be what what we know about this world and how it functions um, our experiences our memories everything that is us so it's kind of a dropping the person and the mind. When when the mind drops, the person drops, the personality drops, and then uh, one shifts into uh, this permanent state of freedom because now we are free from the external world. So we are now free from external reality, and external reality also includes our our own personality and body and who we think we are and uh it's just kind of we are every moment we are very deep grounded in a peace and in the now uh, there is no past there is no future there is no anxiety about the future or fear about future because all those exist on the level of the mind only mm. Wow. Okay. I mean, that work that you do with your clients sounds incredible, but I do want to get into what you had just shared. Could you explain the concept of fear and challenges existing in the mind and how it affects our daily lives? Yes. So basically there are two states. So there is our conditioned state, which is the mind state. And it's the state when the mind is active. Uh, So when the mind is active, meaning it uh, gives us a perception of a person who does, who feels, who takes action, and that the world that there is outside and that we need to function within the world and we need to get somewhere and do something to achieve something or to take care of ourselves, for example. Um, That is a perception of the mind and that is the state of the mind. And literally 99% of the population function on that state. And it's the separation from who we truly are. So it's this idea of I am this person, I was born into this earth, and now I need to kind of um, navigate my way uh, through it to survive, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, And what we do is we look at other humans, how they do things and learn from them. Uh, It's not the best. And that's why we suffer. That's why we have fear. We have challenges. uh, We have stress. We have suffering. The other state is the state of the full awareness uh, or state of consciousness when the mind is passive. The mind doesn't hold a belief system. So the perception of the person of who I am and the perception of, oh, there is an outside world I need to function in and I need to do something, this appears. So it's this perception of, I would say, oneness or unity, but you could also say that it's a perception that there is nothing out there. And I I say that more than the oneness because there is really nothing out there. So, and that's, that is our natural state. And in Mm -hmm. that state, there is a deep peace and there is no fear. 
and how how the analogy I often use is a dream. When you dream at night, and every one of us experience that, when you dream at night, you have thoughts, you have emotions, you are in the dream, you are there as a character in the dream, you don't know you're dreaming. And uh, there are other characters in the dream. And you have problems, challenges, you experience good emotions, positive emotions, if the dream is fun, or negative emotions, if it's a terror or horror, or if you're late for an appointment or for an interview. The moment you wake up, there is nowhere to go to finish the dream, no matter and to fix something. No matter how pressing the issue is that, oh, I am I was late, I am late for an interview. The moment you wake up, there is nothing to do. So mm. this is a simple, it's a very simple explanation or analogy of the mind state when we believe that there is something that needs to be done, achieved, worry about stress and the full awareness state when we literally perceive the the truth or what it really is and realize that there is nothing to be done. (laughs) I love that. You know, in some moments when I am experiencing like a stressful or fearful moment and I think about it in the bigger picture, And I'm like, this thing that I, that is really taking up so much space in my mind, does this matter in the bigger picture? And it usually doesn't. And when I say the bigger picture, I mean like, you know, the world. Uh, Because when you think about your problem or your fear, the challenge that you're experiencing in terms of the world, it just becomes so small. And for myself, I just, you know, my stress levels reduce than thinking about it in, because in certain contexts, it might be so big, but in the world context, it's so small and it might not make as big of a difference. Yes, that exactly. And that that's kind of a, a good perception from the mind level. The, the truth is that really everything, everything exists on the mind level only just as a dream. So anything you worry about, um, it's a it's a mind um, story. I would yeah. say, yes, it's that an is. illusion. It's a mind That's story. True. It's your story. It's your story. Just like the dream you dream at night is your story. Is it yeah. truth? Is it valid? Is it? It doesn't exist. Yeah. When you wake up, there there is nowhere to go to, and we are so wrapped up in the mind that we um, we don't know that it's a dream. And every one of us will realize that it's a dream once we die. Every single one. Wow. Uh, So what I'm so what I'm doing is to get that realization, get the knowing uh to people before before they physically die. Yes, so that we can enjoy our lives. Yes. So so you can dream the dream you really want. So because you have to understand that our physical levels uh Everything physical is still a dream. It is a dream. So uh, physical reality is not real. The experience of physical reality is real. Just like a dream is not real, but your experience of the dream is real, right? So so when you shift from the mind into the full awareness, you still know that it's not real. But now you kind of, you have no stress. You don't worry because once you know it's not real, you don't worry. And you, it's kind of a lucid dreaming, if someone yeah. is, um, yeah, lucid dreaming is that you can control. Them. Yeah, so very similar. So it's really a very enjoyable uh, experience. And then um, you just are. So that's fun when you ask me, like, what do I, what do I do? Um, I'm just kind of are. And <laughs> life unfolds. And yeah. uh, I just take it as it unfolds and, and it's beautiful. Wow, that is, yeah, that is so fascinating. And because... With with dreaming, sometimes it just feels so real. It feels so mm-hmm. real. And I I discovered this earlier this year. I mean, this is such a simple thing. But in moments also, when I'm in a moment, uh, you know, on my way to do something that I'm supposed to do, but I really don't want to do it. And maybe I'm driving. And just for that moment, I'm dreaming that I was driving to somewhere else, you mm-hmm. know, instead of where I'm about to go. And that feeling feeling that it gave me to just dream for that like maybe it was five minutes to dream like a different reality it was I just thought that it was just such a fascinating experience for me and I was telling Mm -hmm. someone about this and and she was like yeah I do this as as well but I didn't see it as like daydreaming because of the way it felt it just felt more real real well it as real as your own is I think it is as real as 
the reality you really was experiencing. And so what was really happening uh, or what is really happening, what is happening, uh, you as a consciousness shift into a different state and different experience. So you literally switch between the dreams. And this is why when we, when we drop the mind and the, the seriousness and the belief system and the, who we are as a personality. So when the mind gets quiet, we have an, we have ability to, uh, as a consciousness shift in any, any parallel reality we choose to, because we literally, we can choose the dream. We are dreaming and now we are experiencing because the experience is also only a dream. So that's, mm. that's the, the nature of consciousness. I would say it dreams mm. and it dreams our physical reality and it can choose any. And for us as humans is to realize that, that we are it and that, that we can, we have a choice and we can choose. But when we are in the deep sleep, just like when we dream, uh, we, we don't know that we are dreaming and we take it too seriously. Everything that is happening in the world, our missing appointments, everything what we need to do, prepare for the future, work hard, hustle. Um, and that becomes our life. Mm. And yet it's, and yet it doesn't have to be like that. Yeah. Yeah. So what are some like practices that someone can do or take to realize the true self and experience that state of peace and joy that you talk about? Mm -hmm. So the most important thing is to move away from the reality, from the illusion, from the dream. Um, and instead of pointing out there, uh, but also instead of pointing inwards in terms of uh, this is for spiritual people who now want to connect to higher selves or uh, clear chakras, because if you go inwards, it's the same as if you go outwards, because inwards and out outwards is still a part of the physical experience. And hence, mm, illusion is the dream. So one really just needs to move and realize the one who is dreaming the dream and that that is a process of self-awareness mm -hmm. so really in every moment being aware of the one who is seeing the one who is thinking the one who is feeling the one who is doing because mm. you yeah. your, your perception of a situation or a person is really different depending on the frame of mind that you are in yes at that time yeah yes and uh and it's because when we are on the when we function on the mind level so the mind creates this personality of me as a person with my belief system with my upbringing with my memories and i look at something and i am in such a situation now i judge it from that point of view mm. like if, mm. if someone else would be in that situation they would judge it from a totally different point of view right and um so it's uh so when we remove that person when the mind drops and we shift into the higher consciousness when we were which means we remove ourselves literally ourselves from the situation and we we can see it now from a very neutral uh, position that it just is because everything just is everything is neutral the way we see it whether positive or negative whether we have fear or whether we love it uh is based on our conditioning mm. right it's um it's like when there is a rain rain is a very neutral event it just rains but um if i'm someone who um who had planned a trip hiking trip and uh, in the morning, it starts raining. Uh, well, I, I'm, I'm not going to be happy. I'm going to be, you know, kind of frustrated, irritated uh, because my plans have been canceled. If I'm someone who loves gardening and uh, then I will be happy, like, oh my gosh, I don't need to garden. I don't need to, um, you know, my yeah, flowers is, will, yeah. will have water. I don't need to water my flowers. So it really, it's, we see all the, everything in the world and how we see others and every event and also ourselves, how we see ourselves depends on the mind and mm. the, the conditioning of who we, who we are as a person. So mm. in order to be, and that person is always either excited or sad. When something good is happening, I'm excited. When something bad is happening, well, my client said no, or I didn't get a raise or whatever. Or my husband didn't do what I wanted him to do. Now I'm I'm not happy. I'm I'm on right. I'm sad or I'm angry. That person who is either happy or unhappy and reacts to this 
external circumstances, that person needs to go. Once that person goes, disappears, now everything just is. And now we can fully enjoy everything as is. And that changes mm-hmm. everything because now we are in the full state of full awareness as a consciousness and we can literally create any dream we want to. Is that is that the same thing that happens when one, for example, you get angry at a situation and you may say something that you wouldn't usually say and immediately when the situation is done and you back to your normal self, you realize that it was almost like it was two different people. Yes. Like, uh-huh. like you could see yourself getting angry, but you, yes. you almost couldn't control it. But now that you are in your normal frame of mind or consciousness, that you're like, wow, okay, that happened. How do I yes. like navigate from that now? Yes. So you you become the you become aware of happened. So you become yes. aware of the person who reacted. It's like, okay, well, yeah. And that is that is the process of being aware of the person. Every, every single moment yeah. because that 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 process um separates you from the mind conditioning and from the the conditioned person and shifts you into the your natural state mm. and can you talk about how like intuition plays a role um intuition to answer that question is there is only one i don't want to say being because the moment I, I, I use any human word, uh, I label it and I will box it in. But there is only one, I would say, source that everything stems from. So who, you need to ask a question, who or what is giving you the intuition? Okay. And it stems from the same source as you being a person and you as the mind. So yeah. the intuition is really not yet how yourself is the one you dr- that dreams the dream, but it's basically you. Okay. So it always the comes moment, back to you. It always comes back to you. But the, the journey is to realize who is the you. Mm, wow. So who is the I that yeah. sees? Who is the I that thinks? Who is the I that received the intuition? And who is the I that sent the intuition? Mm. So, I mean, just asking and journaling about those questions can be powerful. Are there any other ways that you would suggest for people to like, be on that search and understand who is? I would say um, asking and, yeah, asking, yes. Uh, but asking that question is not to get an answer. Asking that question is to dissolve the questionnaire. The person who asked the question needs to go. Journaling uh, might help. Uh, absolutely but uh, the most powerful um, process is just to be and literally Mm. every moment uh, observe the self the eye that does things or the things so really every moment direct your awareness towards yourself Mm. and um, and people don't realize it because again the mind creates this uh, filter or whale but every moment that is in your life is there for you to become aware of the self but we are so um when we function the level of the mind we are so we so believe that the dream is real and we need to work and uh, organize and strategize and uh, respond and i don't know do something go somewhere that we miss the true meaning of every moment Mm -hmm. because because we're not there to experience every moment we i mean we're physically there but our minds are running everywhere else yes. that you're not getting that opportunity to experience the moment. And can not you only just... exper- yeah, not only experience, but also oh, we we miss why the we miss to realize why the moment is present in our life. And every moment, no matter no matter um, how negative the moment is, no matter um, even if it doesn't matter what goes in people's lives, it's there and it needs to be there. And this is mm. something for a person, for the mind, are very hard to admit because mm. people are like, well, but I don't want this, but it's there. And because you you are not being aware why it is there, uh, it's coming back and it's coming back and it's coming back. So whether it's uh, going through cancer or whether it's going through failed relationship, because we are not aware of who we are and why that moment is here, we create a new moment to bring us that awareness. But again, we are not in aware because we are in the mind. Mm, yeah. And uh, for me, like what happened before in certain certain instances, like in the moment, I wouldn't understand why this was happening. 
but I knew that I'll, I'll understand it later. It, yes. I just it could, I couldn't make sense of it now, but I knew later something someone's going to say something or something's going to come up, and I'm going to be able to link the two things yes. together. Yes, and there is the yeah, there is the time difference or time lapse a little bit. Yes, and that's a great great step. Um, that's amazing process and that is happening to you so when when we are in the in the state of full awareness when the mind is not active we understand it immediately and instantly mm. and that's why there is no resistance to any moment and there is no resistance to anything that comes and anything that that we are experiencing we know why we are experiencing it it's literally it's really the wisdom or the truth. We are it. Mm. And also we know that we created it, that it's not yes. that it's someone or something has created it for us. We know exactly why it is happening in this moment for us. And I mean, you said that we created it. That was also a new concept for me, like being yes. able to create your life and the way your life is is going, it's because of things that you've created. That was a new concept mm-hmm. to me, and it was so powerful to understand that. Well, yeah, once once you understand that you are the only one who is dreaming, then there is yes. no one to blame. Yes. There is there is only one dreamer. So yeah, you are both the character in your dream, but you are also the one who creates the dream. Mm-hmm. And uh, so for for myself. Um, there's a lot of a lot of moments where you know people are taking things very seriously, whether it's in the corporate world or you know just other instances. And I'd always find myself thinking, you know, this is not that serious. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Uh, and sometimes you don't want to say it out loud because you don't want people to think that you're not taking you know things as seriously as them. And other times, my um, not fearing or being so uh, uh what's the word i want to use being so frustrated about like what's happening um can calm everyone else but there are instances where i I'd ask myself like why am i not taking this as seriously as what other people are taking it well because you are less conditioned i would say you're less conditioned ah, okay the, the more you're conditioned the more you're in the mind the more serious life is for you and you more take it at the face value. This is it, and we need to fight. We need to stress, and mm. this is happening with the economy. This is happening here and there. This is what happening in my life. Um, the truth is that nothing really happens. Nothing really happens. Again, when you wake up from the dream, was there anything happening? No. Yeah, nothing so, is happening. Yeah, nothing is happening. So what is happening for you is you are tapping into that wisdom, and that's why. So your state is different than uh, someone's who is more conditioned. And that's why you don't react to that. So remember how I said at the beginning that I have people to to shift or, or in the in the state of full awareness, you are peace. You no matter what is happening, no matter what is happening in the world and no matter what is happening in your life, you are peace and you don't stress. It's very mm. hard for me to stress. Actually, I don't remember last time I was stressing. Or uh, there is no fear on this level, and there are no challenges. You you really see the truth that nothing is happening, just like the dream, and that is very powerful because, first of all, you are very free from the illusion. Yeah. And second of all, you impact people. Yes. With that energy, with that being, and uh, so it it creates the ripple effect on on other people, and they may they may be more peaceful in your presence, may may different they may take a different action different decisions which are not from the fear or stress but now they're calm so Mm. that's how you impact your environment and how do you not allow other people to impact your environment you are the only one who is dreaming so it's really up to knowing and knowing knowing that and knowing that everything is an illusion and nothing really happens is the moment you react and you get impacted, you forgot that it's a dream and you care about the dream and you care about what people said to you, that mm. they made angry or you care about whether people like you mm. just, and you forgot that you're dreaming. Mm. So, so in this, in, in this, when one is in this new state, so things like setting boundaries, does it become easier? First of all, it's a new, not new state, it's your natural state. Your natural so state. state. So it's the state we are born with. And then the mind conditioning starts from society, from the parents, from everyone else. 
Um, so it's not a new state. It's it's really our natural state. We just don't recognize it when the mind is active. And what was the question? Um, oh, the being, boundaries. Being okay. able to set boundaries and set the people boundaries. pleasing. No, because uh, you need to set boundaries and you do people pleasing and all these things. And you need to heal yourself from people pleasing only when you have a belief system and when the mind is active when you are as a full awareness you just don't do that mm. you just don't do that it's you are you are literally a different person actually every here's the thing it's like you are you are a different person every nanosecond now 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 but because the mind has a old belief system and conditioning and memories and experiences you are shifting into the same parallel reality so um when you shift into the full awareness you become a new person with with a different experiences and different memories and different actions different thoughts and different emotions and and your reality shifts so also people around you shift so there is first of all no one to create boundaries from because no one no one gets to you and second of all, uh, you don't need to do it because it doesn't exist on that level anymore. Yeah. Uh, going back to one's natural state, I think more people should talk about this. Yeah. it's. Uh, I think it's just so important. So can if anyone wants to work with you, how can they go about doing that? Is it only one-on-one or do you offer a coaching pro- a group coaching programs or webinars? Uh, yeah, I don't have a webinar right now. I'm doing 101. Um, I don't have a plan because I don't live in a future. I never plan future. So um, if someone reaches out to me, uh, then uh, then I just chat with them and see uh, what they need and how I can help them. And the best is to go on my website. So it's danielasulek.com. I'll definitely. And co- yeah, and they can connect uh, with me through that. I'll definitely link it in the show notes. Can we just touch on that, planning for the future? So it isn't something that you do? No, because where is the future? What 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 do you plan for? Where is the future? The only the only thing that exists is now. The only moment that exists is now. Everything else is your everything else is your imagination. Everything else, even five yeah. minutes from now is your imagination after this this podcast you can um continue working and taking notes or you can get up and grab a cup of coffee there are millions of possibilities how what you will do five minutes from now let alone six months or 10 years um it's really just an illusion it's your story so but that exists on the level of the mind because the mind the active mind creates time space continuum there is a past and there is a future and there is a space Mm. as a full awareness as a consciousness we shift there is no time there is no time time doesn't exist it's only now and here Mm. and that's how one is able to maintain that state of peace and joy because you are not living in the past or live living in the future you're in that yes. present moment you're constantly present with everything what is and that is your that is our natural state and very powerful state because now you can shift to any experience you want and mm. this is how people can create quantum leaves on a physical level because now they can literally shift into any experience instead of living on the time space continuum while i need to work hard for 10 years to be able to um to be able to earn a certain income or to create my company like literally you create shifts instantly Mm, wow so what can what can someone do that wants to practice you know being in the in the year and the now What is something that one can do this weekend to experience that state of peace and joy? Become aware of the one who sees, of the the eye, or become aware of the self. Become aware that you are seeing, that you are listening, that you are touching, that you are tasting uh, every moment. So uh, you drink a coffee, become aware that you 
or drinking a coffee and that the coffee is hot or cold any moment be fully where you are mm -hmm. and it, I'm definitely it, it going takes to say that. it takes discipline it takes discipline because the mind has a tendency and is very powerful to take you on the journey of oh let's worry about the future or let's plan and strategize the business let's if you don't do this this will happen or this won't happen mm -hmm. and you have to be disciplined not to believe those stories yeah that is that is that is so true um but thank you so much for sharing that with me i am definitely excited to try that this weekend i'm definitely going to because this week my mind has it's just exhausted me mm. it's yes. it's i felt like yeah. i've been on an episode of survivor but only in my mind <laughs> absolutely and that is you said i feel like that is the truth you were on the episode of survival but only in your mind yes it was it was just a dream and it's very you said it is very exhausting uh to live a life like that and i know that i was in the corporate i was hustling i was high with a high achiever and a control freak so i know all those states um but that's why when you shift to a natural state and you're fully where you are um you fully enjoy the moment and it's a it's really an absolute freedom because mm. now you just don't think it's just like a state of not thinking yeah you may be aware of your thoughts but they are just like oh, okay they are there they don't get to you yeah and i am i am a planner like i will plan yeah. out what am i going to do this weekend you know and i'll mm -hmm. type it in my notes app and last weekend i woke up and instantly i was like i'm going to go to the beach and i went to the beach and i thought okay i'm going to drive home now and on my way, uh, on my drive home, I was like, oh, I should go to the cheetah sanctuary. And I went to the cheetah sanctuary. And doing those two things of going to the beach and the cheetah sa sanctuary without telling anyone, without planning, without asking anyone to come along with me, just by myself, it was like the most freeing that I felt in such a long time. I didn't know, you know, what the traffic was going to be like. You know whether the place was open or not. It, I didn't even the time. Nothing mattered. It was just me on this journey of you know what. Okay, let's let's just see what comes next. I don't have to plan it. Yeah, yeah. And it's so beautiful and it's so easy and it's so and life is really effortless in that yeah. state. So yeah. that is exactly how you can be living your whole day, whole life, each and every day. Um, building your business uh, instead of strategizing and planning and then being, uh, you know, being angry or upset that, okay, this doesn't work out. Oh, fearing. What if this doesn't work out? Again, you're in the illusion. You're in the illusion. The moment you think about the future, what will work out or will? No, not. You are in the dream. Yeah. So that's what you just, ex what you just described is the experience being in the now and in your natural state, no expectations, and kind of like the energy or is taking you where you are need, where you need to be. And you're yeah. always at the right time. Yeah. Yeah. You're always at, at the right time. And at the just, right place. Yeah. Yes. At the right time. Yeah. yeah. And um, so you said that you had also transitioned from corporate. Mm -hmm. And how, how were you, what was the, like, I don't know if trigger is the right word to use to make you transition from um the corporate where it's planning and strategizing into the life and the work that you do now? So it was first corporate, then I had my business, but I was still strategizing in my business. Uh, but um, I would say, long story short, things happened. Things happened that made me to realize and made me to be aware that I have no control over things and that there is that it's really a dream. And then mm. I need to give up and let go, let go. And um, all I wanted is to uh, be the truth. And all I wanted is to know the truth. That's why I practice the self-awareness and the mind shifted and my state shifted a lot. Mm. So now um, I still work, but it's not even work. Just like you said about the, your weekend, 
that's how a life can be. It's like there is no split between, oh, this is my weekend, this is my work life, this is my corporate life. You're living. You are, I I, I call it your being. In mm. every moment, you're being. So, oh, I'm going on a beach. Oh, I'm going to uh, the library. Oh, I meet someone who wants to be my client. Oh, now I'm making dinner. But there, there is no structure. The mind has a structure, has a, oh, Monday to Friday, I work. And then I have two days off. Uh it's a life is very a natural way of life is very spontaneous just like you experienced last, next, last weekend so so again uh, i had many experiences when i experienced myself beyond the mind beyond the body who i really was um, not the person and every single one shifted me more and more into this truth that i'm mm-hmm. kind of now conveying the message that who we truly are, and what is our natural state. Mm. And just being like, yeah, who you truly are and saying what you truly want to say and not thinking out just, oh, I shouldn't have or I should have. Because, you know, that's what what a lot of people go through. Uh, I should have said yes to this or maybe I should have rephrased that. But when you are just in that moment and in your true self, there isn't any of that. What was said needed to be said in that moment yeah yeah yes because it uh, again on the time when the mind creates the person and the time space continuum now you uh, you believe that what you said has a consequences on your future because Mm. people may like me or not like me right or any action any decision any decision you make in your business or in your relationship that it has a consequences on the future yes it does but only on the mind level because you believe it when that goes now because you function only in the now as a full awareness uh, the moment you say something you don't think about it there are no thoughts there is no doubt there is no the person who would be um, worried about what they said doesn't exist anymore Mm -hmm. So there is no one to be worried. And you just yeah. say, and you realize that everything what you say, you were, you were supposed to say. Yes. Yeah. Because otherwise you wouldn't say it. You're always at the right place in the right time. And you always say what you needed to say and what other people needed to hear. Whether you are having one-on-one conversation or you're speaking to a large audience, you always say what you needed to what others needed to hear. Mm, that is so beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming on. I'm so excited. And I hope that everyone that's listening to the episode will also go and whether it is a peaceful week or a weekend and just practice being in that moment and being in their truth and just being. Thank you very much for coming on the podcast. Thank you so much for having me. My pleasure.